Hello everyone, welcome to macOS Genius on the YouTube channel. So today I wanted to go over through the process of installing Plex and using that and wanting to know how that works. So you would have to create a first a Plex account. So if you go over to a browser, select on Plex.tv. Once you go there, you need to go ahead and launch and sign up. If you already have an account, you can sign in. Uh, as for myself, I already have an account, and they don't require any information from you, no credit card, no like age or so forth. They just require a username. So if you select them, sign up, uh, you can connect with your Google, your Facebook, or your Apple ID. Uh, but I have it with my Google account, so I can go ahead and sign in. Once you're creating your account, it's pretty instantaneous. You get an email within about a good 30 seconds. You just validate your email. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. So I'm logged in now, and basically you can basically watch TV for free. Yes, uh, it's to a certain extent you could. So basically here it says easily cut the cord, get over the air, live recorded TV, except web shows, like so forth. So this is to an extent that you do get live TV, but you don't get like 2, 5, 7, 11, or you don't get movie channels or so forth. You get like certain clips or free clips or episodes that you can watch and that's it. But you won't be able to see like the whole season. If you wanted to, then you would have to pay for that subscription like say it's CBS, ABC or HBO or Showtime you would have to pay them so you're basically paying a third party. So the way how you can get uh, free TV on this is basically media. So the media that you can either share to someone else so this is kind of similar to P2P but it's not. Uh, so basically it's streaming and here it basically says free movies and TV uh, but you also have it for Warner's Brothers, Crackle, Lionsgate so forth. Um, so what we can do is go ahead and we're going to go ahead and download the software. So I'm going to select on my account. Once you register your account and activate it, select on your my account. You want to select on downloads, the apps under devices. So then you have Plex for Mac. So that's just Plex. Now if you're going to run a server, then you want to select on Plex Media Server and download that. This is an iMac that I have that is not the server that I am connected to. So I will show you that in a moment. So uh, it states here that it supports uh, Mavericks or newer. So some people said in forums that it doesn't work for Catalina because it's a 64-bit, but actually Plex has made their apps available to work on 64-bit. So it's a 64-bit version, and it does work with Catalina. I have a server running for a few months already and has not given me an issue or problems. So you want to select on apps and downloads if you're going to do it on a non-server computer. So if you have multiple computers, like I have a Mac that's a server, and then I have another Mac that's not a server, and but it will be accessible. So we're going to go ahead and select on apps and devices. So here you have Plex for Mac, Plex Media Player for Mac OS home theater PCs. Uh, and then here in the top left, you can change this and look at all the devices you can put uh, Plex on under Amazon, Android, Apple TV, Chrome. Well, Apple TV has to be the one mm, specifically where you sure. can download apps. Uh, like the older version, the first gen, second gen, does not have the availability, so you can't do that. Chromecast, Google, iOS, Kodi, uh, like uh, PlayStation, then video, Samsung, Roku. So there's all, even TiVo. Uh, you can put Plex on these devices and then just access them remotely. So as you can see here it is a 64-bit and here it also says 64-bit. So we're going to go ahead and download Plex for Mac. So we're going to go do this. All right, it's downloaded. So I go to my downloads. It will go ahead and unzip the program. Now what you need to do and understand that this uh, Plex here, so it unzips it from here and it goes here. So this app right here, it's the physical application. It's not going to open another program to say, hey, drag this to your applications or do you want to install this? Are you sure? Confirm, agree. So you want to just take this Plex right here and you want to just move it to your applications. Once it's done, it's already done in your computer. It's already uh, copied over. So you want to go ahead and double click on Plex. Once that's already up and running, that there, it should pop up and it says, do you want to open the Plex? So you'll say yes. So here is Plex. 
Now it's going to auto log me in because I have an account created with Plex and I downloaded it from my Plex account. So it auto logs you into the account. So here in the left hand side is basically your web shows, your music, your movies, your TV shows. And this is all stuff that you see under, under Plex when you sign up a free account. Now the premium account just gives you more features and functionality. So if I go here in the top right where it says my account, I can hit a users and sharing account and I can I'll have more options like here on the whole left side I can see that'll be in another video that you can see but basically now it's in now it's uh, installed on your Mac and basically what you can do you can just go to your web shows these are web shows from Plex streaming and you can watch this and so forth it's kind of like watching YouTube videos but they're more categorized and organized and so forth uh, you can also hit my shows like if you have favorite shows you want to watch that are available under Plex, but as you can see, there are no items in my shows because under my shows, you have to actually go here where this is all shows. Uh, and when you get in here, you wanna go ahead and select add to my queue or add to my shows. So when you say add to my shows, like for an example, I do this one and go here. Now it's gonna be here all the time. So whenever you wanna go back, you don't have to keep looking for your web shows. They will appear here automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. So right down here at the bottom is web shows, news, podcasts, and music. So this is the only thing that's available by Plex that gives to anybody who creates a free account. You can see all these different shows. Uh, but again, most of these shows are like YouTube's or podcasts and so forth. They're not an actual TV show. Like if you wanted to watch uh, uh, Two and a Half Men, it's not going to be in here. You're going to have to uh, physically sign up subscription through another app, third-party app for that channel. Uh, news. Uh, these are all the news that are updated and so forth. Um, so you can be able to see this. Again, this is like YouTube. This is like channel new news you got Bloomberg you got CNN and so forth so that's all going to be here and you can be able to see that for free and of course your podcast and uh, you can see your podcast from here so if we go down here you also have music they have music so music is title uh, is what what they call it so basically you can stream music and so forth but technically to uh, listen to do this you can listen to it and so forth but if you had your own music you can actually stream to other individuals and share your account with them and so forth um, but this is plex and it's very useful very helpful and the, for those people who are always cutting the cord they're looking to save money uh, this is the best kind of way to do it because this is technically 100% free because it is uh, unless you want to get into the premium features that would be a whole different thing uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, on my next video, I will show you additional items you can do with and using Plex. Thanks, and thanks for watching. Mac OS Genius on the YouTube channel.